if you have a property in Costa Blanca South, anywhere around this region, beware of this. Welcome to some kind of place in the sun. In this video, I'm going to talk about three different things that you need to think about if you have a holiday home in Playa Flamenca, Lasagna, Torrevieja, Almaradi, Quesada, Villa Martin, San Miguel, Santa Pola, anywhere around this region, if you have a holiday home, this is probably one of the things that you never thought about when you actually bought the holiday home. So make sure you watch the video to the end because I'm going to make you an offer that you won't just believe. Isn't Spain great at this time of year? The grass is green, which is kind of weird because the grass only grows in the spring in the UK. But in this time of year in Spain, the grass and the weeds all grow lovely. The temperature is about 22, 23 degrees today. And yes, I'm in shorts and t-shirt. It's one of the things that you think about when you come to Spain and when you want to move to Spain is that hot lifestyle, that living in that hot country. But one thing that you never think about is when you go to view a property, you're thinking about the lifestyle. You're thinking about the bars, you're thinking about the cheap beer, you're thinking about going to the beach. And you look at the property and you think, yeah, I can see myself living here. I can see myself having this view, having this sun every single day. And that's one of the things that you think about. I've seen too many properties over the last few months that, to be fair, just aren't up to standard. And you see lots of properties that are really cheap and properties that are bargain properties in the sun. Yes, they're bargains and they're bargains for a reason. But what is that reason? And what don't you think about when you go to view these properties? And if you have a property in the sun, if you are living in the sun, part-time, full-time, or if you have a holiday home in the sun, think about this. When you go to the property in November, December, January, February, March, it is absolutely freezing at night. <laughs> and yes, it's nice and warm during the day, but the majority of these properties are absolutely freezing during the night. And the single glazed unit, the really crappy little Spanish double glazing that doesn't work, that leaks. And as you know, this year we've had a lot, a lot of rain. At the beginning of 2022, I had about six weeks constant here in Torreveca of rain. And that rain tends to get into your property. Front doors is another thing. So let's talk about windows first of all. The windows here in the majority of the properties that I'm outside just now, just by looking at them, I can tell that it's either single glazed units or really, really bad Spanish double glazing. Now, that's fine in the summer when it's nice and hot, but if you were back home and you had windows like that, would you really stay in that property full time? Would you not upgrade those windows? And why would you upgrade the windows? You would upgrade the windows for one or two reasons. One, to make it a little bit cooler in the summer. Nice persiana blinds, maybe even a mosquito nets built into the unit so that it stops the mosquitoes coming in you can have the windows open, you can have the windows closed to keep the property cool. And in the winter time, it keeps the heat in. Why were we thinking about this just now? Well, prices of energy has gone through the roof. The green lifestyle isn't so green out here in Spain. The price of gas has more than doubled in the last couple of years. The price of electricity is going through the roof. The price of water is going through the roof. How can you protect your investment in the long term? And why should you be protecting your investment in the long term? Well, it's simple, to save money. So yes, if you're looking for brand new windows that aren't cheapy little double, you know, single glazed units, if you're wanting something that is the same build quality as what you would get back in the UK, have a look at these windows that I'm about to show you. CNG Fabrication do have a showroom up in Los Dulces. They also have a factory in Almaradi. Now this is one of the things that you need to think about when you're looking at a replacement window company, is how long have they been in here? How long have they been in business? Now the reason I started working with the CNG is the fact that they've been here for 17 years. 
Now any company that's been on the go for 17 years has to have one of two things, a damn good reputation and a damn good product. So yes, that's why I do sales for CNG fabrication, because of that. Now, the next thing we need to talk about is front doors. The amount of front doors that are wooden and old front doors. Basically leaking water left, right and centre. You know, there's even doors that don't fit properly and there's doors that just look damn ugly. Getting a front door can help make the property more watertight. It can stop water coming in because you get a lot of the water that actually comes in through the doors. There's no threshold on the doors. So that, again, you look at these doors that I'm about to show you, you get a door that fits nice and tight. It also makes the, the property that little bit warmer. So if you're looking, this is where the third part comes in and the unbelievable offer that I'm going to give you. I'm going to come out to your house and I'm going to serve you and I'm going to tell you exactly what needs replaced and what doesn't need replaced. And I'll do all that for free. If you fill in the form that is underneath this, it'll be a Google form. You click on that and that'll give you, that'll send your details through to me and when the next time you're in Spain, I'll come out and we'll do a survey of the property and I'll tell you exactly what you can get and what you don't, I'll tell you what you need and what you don't need to replace. So if you want to do that, this is all about buying a property in Spain. If you're buying a property in Spain as well, if you're buying a property in Torre Vieja, if you're buying a property here in Playa Flamenca, if you're buying a property anywhere around this Costa Blanca South, look at the windows when you go to look at the property. Don't just look at the area, don't just look at the amenities, look at the windows and doors and factor that in to when you want to buy your property. Either that, just buy a motorhome. <laughs> On that note, hope you enjoyed this video. If you're looking for new windows and doors, and there are some people that have watched the channel that have already bought windows and doors and been pleasantly surprised when I turn up at, at the property. If you have bought windows and doors through CNG and I have come out, put a nice little comment down in the comment section if you want me to come in and see you put a comment in the comment section and on that note I